and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be sharing with you how I prepare my meals for two weeks so as a single mom I have found that it is so much easier for me when I have my meals already prepared so that I don't have to actually worry about cooking while I'm taking care of my kids and so I usually prepare my meals that last me for two weeks or even longer um, that way I know that I'm all set for lunch and dinner and I just have to prepare breakfast now to um, do this I like to do my shopping um, once every two weeks and I usually do that and then I get all my meals prepared and ready to go um, and so to get started today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be preparing different meals I don't really like um, eating the same meals because it's boring right I don't want to eat chicken and veggies every single week so I do prepare a variety of meals that I eat through, throughout the week I am going to be sharing that with you today. I do have some meals that I'm baking and then others that I'm actually cooking on this top top. So to begin, I'm actually going to start by uh, placing all the items that I'm baking in the oven, which I have already preheated to about 400 degrees. And then I'm going to um, go ahead and proceed with the items that I'm going to be cooking on this top top while the baking items are baking. So let's get started, guys. Here are the items that I'm going to be um, using today for the meal prep that I'm making. Um, I do have uh, beef here, um, meatballs that I bought from, uh, what is it, Ikea, shrimp, and chicken. Those are all the meats that I'm going to be preparing. And then I have my potatoes, uh, mixed veggies, corn on the cob, um, and then different veggies that I'm going to be adding as well. Tomatoes, uh, stir fry, veggie blend. Uh, I do not like using uh, spaghetti, so I like to use uh, pen pasta, and that's what I'm going to be using for my shrimp alfredo and um, meatballs and pen meal. <laughs> and then I have coriander. Um, is it coriander or God? Uh, yeah, coriander lives here. And then sweet potatoes and white rice. And then lastly, I'll also be using uh, marinara sauce for my spaghetti. Not spaghetti, but you know what I mean. For my pasta. And then also my Alfredo sauce as well. So let's get started, guys. So we'll go ahead and begin by um, cutting up all the ingredients that I need to add to my beef. And I'm just going to add uh, the coriander leaves, um, some... Uh, what is it? Oh uh, gosh, I'm freezing. Yeah, I'm gonna add some onions to this, some pep, some red and uh, yellow peppers, and then also um, black, black peppers as well. Black, gosh, is it black, black peppers? Yeah, black. <laughs> oh gosh, here's the thing. I'm like freezing over here. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the items that are going to go into the oven. So I'm actually gonna bake my corn. And I'm just gonna add olive oil to this and um, some salt as well. And I've already washed my hands. Um, so, for those who are wondering, <laughs> and I'm not gonna put too much salt. Ooh, wait. Oops. Make sure that this is all coated with olive oil. These are kind of still uh, frozen because I just. Uh, I just took them out of the freezer, but I like to just get them into the oven and they've been out for a little bit So it's not directly from the freezer, but they're still a little frozen Which I don't really mind I think. If There's anything wrong with that okay. Go ahead and place this into the oven I forgot to bring them in That one is in. Now I'm gonna prepare my um, meat.
<laughs> now I'm not a, I'm not really a chef, so <laughs> I'm not gonna be cutting my vegetables all night and perfectly. Although I do need to learn how to do that. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay has a really nice video on how to chop up these onions like a pro, but this is just me cooking in my house, so. So I'm adding olive oil to this and I like to add a lot. <laughs> I'm going to add salt, and black peppers. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm just gonna use my hands to mix everything up. Now I'm using my hands because I just want to make sure that everything is all well integrated um, in together so that I don't have any items that are not, they don't have enough salt or enough pepper. But that one is done. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven as well. So my potatoes are all cut up, so I'm just going to uh, layer them on this pan. And I'm actually gonna use this for both my sweet potatoes and regular potatoes, so I'm just going to um, separate them in halves here. Drizzle some olive oil onto this. I basically use olive oil for all of my cooking except for when I'm frying items. So that's what I'm gonna be using for all of this. And I put a lot because I love olive oil. And then just salt. and some pepper, some black pepper. All of my sweet potatoes, I'm just gonna add olive oil to this and um, a little bit of salt and I should, that should be ready to go inside the oven. So now we'll just start with the items that are gonna go on the stove top. I have water set for my rice. So I'm gonna get my rice going here. And then I'm also gonna get my pasta, well, my shrimp started for my shrimp alfredo. And 
then I'm gonna put the wonderful pasta. So I'm just adding oil for my vegetables. And I usually just um, stir fry this. I leave them on until they're done. I think that should be enough for you. Okay guys, things are cooking now. We've got a lot of things on the stove. My baby is crying. I got shrimp going. Okay, I've got shrimp going here. I'm actually, I like to just put my shrimp in and just let it um, kind of start cooking so that I can get rid of all the water. And then I've got rice going in there. It's really hot, so. <laughs> and then I've got veggies here. Um, green veggies are cooking just fine. These two are actually almost done. I added salt to this, so they should be done here pretty soon. And then I've got my water going for my pan pasta and that's almost ready so i can be able to put those in uh but yeah what i'm gonna do now is i'm actually going to add on um i'm gonna add alfredo sauce to this and then once the pasta is done we can go ahead and add that in here so i'll just let this go for a little bit i'm gonna add some salt and pepper and then i'll add my uh, sauce and have it all good to go the veggies look like they're pretty they're doing pretty good so they're actually looking pretty good here as well and <laughs> somebody's probably gonna point out why I'm using my dish towel but I ran out of my mittens so so yeah we've got the corn that looks pretty good that one should be done pretty soon here. I'm just going to let it go for a little bit longer. And then my meat is doing good as well. Okay. Sweet potatoes and potatoes are still cooking, so we're just gonna leave those in for some more time. Okay, guys. So it looks like my uh, my shrimp is all out of water now. I'm gonna turn down the heat. The veggies are done. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, turn up the heat, and then I'm gonna add my. Alfredo And then I have my onions cooking here. This is going to be for my black beans. So I'm going to add, once this is done, I'm going to add tomatoes, coriander, and uh, the black beans. So this will be going. My rice is almost done. Um, that's almost done. And then if we look at the oven, things are moving along here pretty nicely as well. Um, my corn is actually done, so I'm gonna take this out. My um, my meat looks like it's almost done, so I'll just leave that on. I like my meat pretty tender, so I don't mind uh, to let this cook a little bit longer just so it can um, get tender enough for me. And then my potatoes, those look like they're doing pretty good as well. Um, looks like they're almost done. Yeah, they're getting really soft, so they're almost done. 
So I'm just gonna leave those in there for a little bit and then I'll take those off, so. And then I'm gonna add my chicken that I have added black pepper, ginger, garlic, and olive oil to. Perfect, so those should go on. So. Okay, so I'll, I should be ready now to plate to start placing this in my um, my milk containers. So I'm gonna move this over. I like this stove better, so I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna turn this off. Now I'm gonna add. I'm gonna go ahead and add coriander leaves and um, tomatoes into this. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit. I do like my tomatoes to go down. And it's actually in a tray, you know? You need to be in a, 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 Okay, so I'll just let that sit for a little bit. I'm gonna turn the heat down. I'm actually gonna add salt to this and black pepper now I do like to use black pepper in almost everything actually it seems like We'll just leave this on for a little bit so that it can finish and then while this is going I'm going to start putting this in my Tupperware. Okay guys so I'm ready to plate my pen pasta and I'm actually okay putting this on here because it's not it shouldn't affect it. That is meal one done. This should be like for three separate meals that I'm gonna eat. that's all set so we're gonna go ahead and close this and then I usually like to put my um, food in the freezer so once I'm done cooking it goes immediately to the freezer and I feel like that really preserves the freshness uh, so that when I the night before I have to use it or the day off rather I'll just take it out and let it sit outside and then when I'm ready to eat I just warm it up on the stove and uh, it's usually pretty fresh so it's gonna maintain its freshness when i do this so we'll go ahead and do that okay so i'm gonna put i'm actually gonna use two cans of beans so this is one get everything out and then can number two And that actually already looks really good so I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit um, the rice is already done so once this is ready then we can go ahead and put those in containers and have them all set Okay, so we've made some progress now. So I actually have on this side, on the stove, 
I have water going on for the last meal, which is going to be my pen pasta and um, marinara sauce so that I can make pen pasta and marinara sauce with meatballs. So that going. And then over here, um, all the meals are set. So I have my potatoes that are all done. Um, I also have my chicken, so I'm going to be plating those. So I'm going to make put chicken and sweet potatoes with veggies on one and then I'm gonna use the other potatoes for my uh, meat that is coming out in just a little bit so let's go ahead and get the chicken cut up and then we'll make that I really really like how I love how this is has that sauce going so uh, I'm gonna move everything over I just washed my hands so I'm just gonna use my hands to cut this up Okay guys, so my chicken, veggies, and sweet potatoes are done, and those are all set for for the freezer. Okay, so since I have some leftover chicken, I'm actually going to cut this up and put this in a separate container, and I'm actually going to use this for my salads. Okay guys, so the last, second to last meal we're going to plate today is going to be the meat. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this in and this is like nice and oh, really nice and, and evad, huh? <laughs> Guy, I can never find some words or hey. Yeah, I checked it. I really love that this um, potatoes are nice and crisp. I actually left this in the oven for at least an hour, I think. Um, so it gave it enough time to cook and get really nice and crispy. Perfect. So this is all set. No number three, is it? Or four? Oh, no number four is done. Okay. Go ahead and put the rest of this in a container. And then we'll just use that as we need it. This is kind of hot, so I made a mistake to grab it. But... Okay, so now that is all set. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this pasta out and we'll go ahead and finish up the last dish. Okay guys, last dish. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the the pasta in with the meatballs and
So guys, so the last meal is done. Now, I actually, this is not what I should have done. I should have made less of this, but uh, it should be fine nonetheless. My babies are crying. All set, guys. So this is the last meal. Now, maybe next time I'll definitely not make as much. Um, gosh, my babies are crying. Okay guys, so I am all done. I started this at 7. It is now almost 11 p.m. So that took me about four hours to do this. Now the thing is that even though it took me four hours, now I'm all set. I know that for the next two weeks, I have enough meals. My kids are crying. That's what you're hearing in the background. They are really tired, so we're gonna go ahead and put them to bed right now. So um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, guys. Um, I'm so happy now because I don't have to worry about what I'm going to eat. I am all set, <laughs> and I can just focus on my babies now. But yeah, this is all done. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great night.